You can get hired in a top 75 market by condensing your writing so that every word packs a punch. Let's watch this story lead and then we'll improve it by condensing. The Arcata City Council had its second conversation about establishing temporary pay increases for grocery workers during the pandemic at its meeting last night. So the first thing we learn is that the City Council had its second conversation about boring. Condense the action into a one word power verb. Power verbs make or break your story. They describe the action in one bold descriptive word. So instead of had its second conversation about, we could just say revisit it. But better yet, instead of telling our audience that the city council discussed something, let's tell them what actually happened. So our rewrite is the Arcata City Council rejected temporarily spiking pandemic wages for grocery workers. Notice how I condensed during the pandemic into one word, pandemic, by using it as an adjective. Condensing your writing will help retain your audience because every word will reveal new information blocking your audience's potential exit points. Also notice how the original used the wimpy verb established and then conveyed the crux of the story in a noun, pay increases. Don't do that. Put the focus of the story in the form of a power verb. Spiking is a power verb. It titillates your audience, making them want more. Now the original also ends with consecutive time frames, which creates momentary confusion because the audience has to figure out that during the pandemic describes when the pay increases would apply, whereas last night describes when the city council talked about it. TV news should be easily comprehensible. The information should just flow into our viewers' brains. So I'm gonna flip last night to the beginning of the sentence to reduce confusion. The other thing that flip accomplishes is it leaves more substantive words at the very end of our sentence. Grocery workers, who are the protagonists of our story along with the city council. The original ended with the generic words about time frames By putting juice words at the end of your sentences, you entice the viewer to cross the bridge with you into the next sentence. So now let's rewatch the original and we'll compare it to our rewrite. The Arcata City Council had its second conversation about establishing temporary pay increases for grocery workers during the pandemic at its meeting last night. Last night, the Arcata City Council rejected temporarily spiking pandemic wages for grocery workers. The difference in those leads is subtle, but when you stack condensed sentence after condensed sentence, focusing on your power verbs, the cumulative effect is to captivate your audience. Now we're gonna build on the success of our condensed lead by transitioning into our SOTS without making this newbie mistake that will kill your story.